Hello friends, welcome to my new video. Hope you are enjoying the Titans show already. Titans now has its own Wonder Woman, Donna Troy. Season 1's episode 8 introduces a young Wonder Girl, who is being contacted by Dick Grayson to uncover the alien language Rachel is keeping in her diary. The character will be played by Connor Leslie. In the comics, Donna is also the sister of actual Wonder Woman, Diana. After the shake-up in comics that resulted from the publication of Seduction of the Innocent, DC Comics searched for a way to portray Wonder Woman that would be acceptable to parents. One of the more favored approaches was to publish a series of impossible tales in which Wonder Woman Diana appeared for various reasons side by side with younger versions of herself as well as her mother, creating a Wonder Family, a teen-aged version of Wonder Woman was dubbed Wonder Girl. By issue number 123 of Wonder Woman, July 1961, the label Impossible Tale was not being included on many of these stories. In this particular issue the character of Wonder Girl is referred to as if she is an entity entirely different from Diana, a character unto herself. Wonder Woman's younger sister Wonder Girl made her first appearance outside the Wonder Woman book in The Brave and the Bold No. 60 July 1965 as a member of a Junior Justice League called the Teen Titans, consisting of Robin, Dick Grayson, Kid Flash, Wally West, and Aqualad, the sidekicks of Batman, The Flash, and Aquaman, respectively. Donna Troy is often noted for having had a number of complicated revisions to her origin. Now let's look at the power and abilities Donna Troy possesses. Donna's superhuman powers have changed several times over the years, but in all of her various incarnations, they have always consisted of considerable superhuman strength, endurance, speed, and the power of flight. In her pre-crisis origin, Donna was granted those powers by the Amazon's Purple Ray, and these powers increased as she grew older. She also wielded a lasso of her own, but it apparently had no magical properties like Diana's Lasso of Truth, aside from being infinite in length and virtually indestructible. Post-Crisis on Infinite Earths, it was revealed that Donna's original lasso was a Star Labs creation. The first major redefinition of Donna's powers came about when she took the name of Troya. She still possessed all the abilities she had before, but now in addition to those, she could wield photonic energy as power blasts and protective force fields, and generate light from her hands. Donna has the ability to project three-dimensional images of a person's memories, provided the subject is a willing participant in the process. Donna's Troya costume was made of various gifts given to her by the Titans of Myth, the most notable of which was the unique star field material that showed the exact location of New Cronus. After Donna petitioned the Titans of Myth to depower her volume and issue needed, she became Dark Star volume and issue needed, gaining the standard Exomantle all members wore, granting her superhuman strength, speed, and agility. The Exomantle also possessed a personal force field for protection against physical impact and energy attacks. The main weapons were twin Maser units that fired energy blasts with pinpoint accuracy, however, it seems that Donna did not undergo the surgical procedure to attain the instant mastery of Maser control that the other Dark Stars had, and had a split-second delay in reaction time when wearing the less powerful deputy version of the Exomantle. A powerful shoulder-mounted cannon complemented the Maser system of the Dark Star's Exomantle. With the Exomantle, one could achieve high speeds during flight, all the while protected from wind friction by the force field. After her post-crisis origin was created, Donna regained the powers she had lost at the Titans of Myth's behest, but now they were virtually identical to Diana's. Donna and Diana also share a psychic rapport which allows one to feel either what the other is experiencing or even share dreams. Shortly after her resurrection as the Goddess of the Moon, during the return of Donna Troy Limited series, Donna's powers were enhanced and upgraded. She retained all of the abilities she had before, and regained her energy manipulation abilities which, being cosmic-based, were far more powerful. She also commanded darkness and cold to great effect. Donna has not been shown using those powers since regaining her memories. Over the years, Donna has grown extremely powerful, with power and strength, almost rivaling her big sister, Diana, Wonder Woman. She is considered to be one of the strongest superheroines of the DC Universe along with Power Girl, Supergirl, Big Barda, Mary Marvel, and Wonder Woman. Donna also has incredible super speed. 
She is fast enough to outrace bullets with ease, and like Wonder Woman, she's said to be able to move at speeds far beyond the speed of sound, volume and issue needed. She has been shown moving fast enough to catch up to speedsters such as Jesse Quick. While not totally invulnerable, Donna has a very high degree of resistance to injury. Donna has been punched through several floors of reinforced steel and concrete, as well as taken on powerful beings such as Etrigan, Black Mary Marvel, Wonder Woman, Superwoman, Black Adam, and Superman. Like all Amazons, Donna is exceptionally well trained in the use of various weapons and in various martial arts. Her sister Diana, Mother Hippolyte, General Philippus, and Artemis seem to be her only rivals as a warrior among the Amazons. She is also a very capable leader and strategist. Pre-Flashpoint, Donna wielded a new lasso of her own called the Lasso of Persuasion. It glows blue, and like Wonder Woman's lasso is quite durable. It also has the ability to force anyone within its confines to do Donna's bidding if her willpower is greater than theirs. Donna has the ability to flawlessly imitate the voice of anyone she has heard. However, there is a catch. In Titans, she is not super strong or flying around, it's impossible to tell what powers she has, will have over the course of her run. She's not even in costume, which is another thing Titans basically has free reign over. The DC Universe show hasn't been shy about snapping up side characters and making them its own, so hopefully Troy gets the same treatment. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you soon.